And people who received the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine could be rolling up their sleeves once again. It appears that booster shots could be on the way. This is I Would Assume at 6, and we are streaming live on CBSN Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Yuki is off tonight. COVID 19 cases are surging in our area as the White House prepares to recommend a booster shot for many vaccinated Americans. Among the entire region is red, which means that a high rate of community transmission as the highly contagious Delta variant continues to spread. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us with where things stand right now. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jessica. Well, it is is that summer surge of cases you just talked about that prompted this expected recommendation. But booster shots for everyone still have to be cleared by the FDA. They are currently only available to people who are immune compromised. Americans who received the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine could start getting a booster shot as early as mid September if the FDA approves the plan being recommended by the Biden administration. In getting a booster, what we will likely see is higher vaccine effectiveness from infection. We will have less breakthrough cases. Scott Hensley, a professor of microbiology at the University of Pennsylvania, says the current vaccine dosing is working extremely well at preventing severe disease. But research is showing protection from infection doesn't last at a high level. Antibodies that are listed by vaccines, they decrease over time. And not only that, the virus has changed quite a bit. The more contagious Delta variant that's causing the fourth COVID surge has elevated the need for a booster. Timing would be eight months after after your second dose, and the third shot would likely be the same brand as the first two. This is a dynamic process, and the data will be evaluated. The one thing we are doing is we are preparing. A spokesperson for the Philadelphia Health Department says the city has the capacity to handle an additional 20,000 doses a week in September if needed for boosters, but we can't do any planning until we see how and if FDA approves the plan. Are you concerned about supplies and how this booster gets rolled out? Of course I'm, I'm concerned. If you look at how the, the original vaccine uh, was rolled out, that wasn't uh, super smooth. He also thinks instead of boosters, the U.S. should send vaccine to countries that need it. This pandemic's not going anywhere uh, until we get vaccines distributed across the world. Now, this booster plan does not include people who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Health officials say they want more data on that one. Jessica? All right, Stephanie, thank you.